Welcome to the heart of Africa, where a new species has just been discovered. Yes, we're delving into the Congo, a land of mystery and wonder. This vast expanse of wilderness, not only the world's second largest rainforest, but also a hotbed of unexplored life, is now making headlines with the revelation of a previously unknown creature. A wilderness teeming with an array of life forms that boggles the mind. From the peak of towering trees to the smallest organisms, the Congo is an astounding testament to the richness and diversity of life on Earth. In the dense, verdant thickets of the Congo, biodiversity is the name of the game. The forest is a complex web of life where every organism, big or small, has a role to play. Here, you'll find a panoply of species, some familiar, others utterly exotic. And now, a new player has entered the scene. From the thunderous roars of the forest elephants to the melodious chirps of the Congo peafowl, every sound is an echo of life thriving in its rawest form. But the Congo isn't about its rich biodiversity alone. It's a key player in the world ecosystem, a green lung that breathes life into our planet. Its dense vegetation absorbs vast amounts of carbon dioxide, playing a critical role in mitigating climate change. The Congo's rivers too, are lifelines not just for the myriad species that inhabit the forest, but also for millions of humans who depend on these waterways for their livelihood. Yet for all its apparent openness, the Congo is a land shrouded in mystery. Its vastness and inaccessibility have kept large parts of it unexplored, its secrets safely hidden from prying eyes. Until now that is, as it unveils a hint of its hidden depths with the discovery of a new species. This revelation has sparked curiosity, intrigue, and a fair amount of fear. But what is this discovery, and why is it causing such a stir? Join us as we journey deeper into the heart of the Congo and uncover the truth behind this exhilarating new find. Deep into the Congo's heart, scientists have made a discovery that is both fascinating and terrifying. As we venture further into the dense, humid jungles of the Congo, the line between known and unknown begins to blur. Here in this realm of ceaseless exploration, our understanding of nature is continually challenged and reshaped. Recently, a team of intrepid scientists embarked on an expedition, armed with their unwavering curiosity and a thirst to uncover the secrets of this vast wilderness. Little did they know, they were about to stumble upon something that would change the way we perceive the natural world. The journey was grueling, with each passing day presenting new challenges. From negotiating treacherous terrains to battling the relentless onslaught of tropical diseases, the team pressed on, driven by their unyielding resolve to uncover the undiscovered, and then, one fateful day, they stumbled upon it. The discovery that would send shockwaves through the scientific community. A new species, a creature so extraordinary, so otherworldly, it defied all known categories of life. The initial reactions to this discovery were mixed, to say the least. Some were thrilled, their eyes gleaming with the thrill of the unknown. For them, this was a testament to the endless wonders of our planet, a reminder that we are far from knowing all that Mother Nature has to offer. Others, however, were filled with a sense of trepidation. They could not shake off the eerie feeling that this creature, this new species, was something more than just an exciting biological discovery. There was something about it something that sent shivers down their spines, something that hinted at a terrifying potential. And so, as the news of this discovery began to spread, the scientific community was left abuzz with speculation and anticipation. Questions swirled around the discovery. What secrets did this new species hold? What could it tell us about the world we live in? And most importantly, what could this new species be that has scientists both excited and terrified? This new species, unlike any seen before, is truly a marvel of nature. Nestled deep within the heart of the Congo, in the untouched expanse of its lush rainforests, a new species has been discovered that is both fascinating and chilling in its uniqueness. Let's delve into the heart of this mysterious creature. This new species is a type of insect but not just any insect. It's enormous compared to its counterparts, with some specimens reaching the size of a human hand. Imagine that! An insect so large could cover your entire palm. Its exoskeleton is a vibrant hue of neon green, a shade rarely seen in the insect world. But it's not just its size and color that set this creature apart. This insect, which scientists have aptly named the Congo Colossus, has a unique trait that is both fascinating and terrifying. Its venom, a potent cocktail of various neurotoxins, is so powerful it can paralyze a small mammal within minutes, a creature so small yet so deadly. The Congo Colossus calls the dense, humid rainforests of the Congo its home. 
Here, it thrives in the darkness, lurking under the foliage, waiting for its prey. Its terrifying potential lies not just in its venom but also in its ability to multiply rapidly, posing a potential threat to the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Yet, despite its terrifying aspects, this new species is a testament to the wonders of evolution and biodiversity. It serves as a stark reminder of the untold secrets still hidden within the dense, untouched forests around the world. The discovery of the Congo Colossus is a significant event in the world of science, sparking a surge of interest and concern amongst researchers and conservationists alike. Its existence challenges our understanding of the natural world, and its potential impact on the environment raises important questions about biodiversity and conservation. This creature, a testament to nature's creativity, also holds a terrifying potential. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our planet, we must remember to tread lightly, for we never know what marvels or terrors we might uncover. What makes this new species terrifying isn't its appearance, but its potential. Let's pause for a moment and consider the implications of this discovery. It's not just about the thrill of finding something new, it's also about understanding the potential consequences this creature could have on its surroundings. Every organism plays a role in the delicate balance of nature, and a new species could tip the scales one way or another. Imagine if you will, a finely tuned orchestra. Each instrument contributes to the harmony of the whole. Even a single note out of place can disrupt the performance. In much the same way the introduction of a new species into an ecosystem can have ripple effects, potentially disrupting the balance and harmony of that environment. This creature could become a dominant predator, outcompeting others for resources and leading to a decrease in biodiversity. Or, it could become a prolific breeder, its population exploding and consuming resources at an unsustainable rate. In either scenario, the balance of the ecosystem could be thrown into disarray, affecting all other creatures within it, but the potential threat isn't limited to the animal kingdom. The new species could also pose risk to humans, it could carry unknown diseases for instance, or it could impact local agriculture, either by consuming crops or by disrupting pollination patterns. Furthermore, it's worth considering the potential effects on the Congo itself. This region is home to some of the world's most biodiverse rainforests, serving as a vital carbon sink and playing a crucial role in our planet's climate regulation. Any significant alteration to its ecosystem could have far-reaching consequences. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? The thrill of discovery is tempered by the weight of responsibility. Scientists and conservationists now have the monumental task of studying this creature, understanding its habits, its needs, and its impact on its environment. This creature's potential impact could significantly alter the Congo's ecosystem. We must tread carefully for the future of the Congo and indeed our planet could hang in the balance. Scientists around the world are intrigued by this new discovery. The news of a novel species emerging from the heart of Africa has caused quite a stir in the scientific community. This is more than just a headline, it's an invitation to explore, to understand, and to learn. Scientists across different fields are banding together in a collective effort to study this new species. Biologists are eager to unravel the creature's unique genetic makeup, while ecologists are keen to understand how this species fits into the Congo's rich ecosystem. Paleontologists too are drawn to this discovery, hoping it might shed light on the evolutionary history of the region. Yet, like many scientific endeavors, this one is not without its debates. There are differing opinions and theories swirling around this new discovery. Some scientists believe that this species has been hiding in plain sight, its terrifying potential unrecognized due to its elusive nature. Others propose that this is a recent evolution, a response to the changing climate and shifting ecosystems. This theory, if proven true, could have profound implications on our understanding of rapid evolutionary processes. Then there are those who caution against jumping to conclusions. They argue that it's too early to assess the impact of this new species on the Congo's biodiversity. They advocate for more research, more study, and more understanding before making any definitive statements. The scientific response to this discovery is as varied and diverse as the Congo itself. It's a testament to the dynamic nature of science, where every new discovery is a piece of a larger puzzle, a stepping stone to a deeper understanding of our world. The debates and discussions sparked by this new species are not just about the creature itself, but about the broader implications for biodiversity, evolution, and our place in the natural world. In conclusion, this new species from the Congo is not just a discovery, 
It's a catalyst. It's pushing scientists to ask new questions, to challenge established theories, and to delve deeper into the mysteries of nature. This discovery has sparked a global conversation about the Congo's biodiversity. This conversation is only just beginning, and where it will lead us, only time will tell. With this new discovery the future of the Congo is uncertain. The Congo, a vibrant tapestry of life, stands at the precipice of change. The unveiling of this new species has certainly thrown a curveball in our understanding of this ecosystem. Let's dive into the potential impacts this could have on the Congo's future. With the introduction of any new species, the balance of the ecosystem can be disrupted. This species with its unique characteristics could potentially outcompete local species for resources. This could lead to a decline in certain populations and even the extinction of some native species. This is an alarming possibility as the Congo is home to a diverse range of species, many of which are not found anywhere else in the world. But it's not all doom and gloom. The discovery of this species also presents a remarkable opportunity for scientific exploration. It's like discovering a new puzzle piece in the grand scheme of evolution. It could provide valuable insights into the biodiversity and evolutionary history of the Congo. To manage the potential impacts, measures are being taken. Scientists from around the world are converging on the Congo, eager to study this new species. Conservationists are also on high alert, closely monitoring the situation and preparing to protect threatened species if necessary. Plans are also underway to develop management strategies to control the population of this new species. This could involve creating natural barriers, introducing predators, or even using technology such as drones to monitor their movement and growth. All of these efforts are being made to ensure the longevity and health of the Congo's ecosystem. It is a delicate dance between allowing nature to take its course and intervening to prevent potential ecological disaster. In conclusion, the future of the Congo is as unpredictable as it is exciting. Only time will tell how this new species will integrate into the ecosystem and what changes it may bring. The Congo's future hangs in the balance as we grapple with this terrifying discovery. The world's response to this discovery has been a mix of fascination and fear. This new species, unearthed from the depths of the Congo, has captivated the collective curiosity of scientists, environmentalists, and nature enthusiasts alike. Its alien-like appearance, its unique characteristics, and the mystery surrounding its existence have intrigued minds globally, making headlines in every corner of the earth. Yet along with fascination there exists a palpable sense of fear. The unknown, as it often does, has sparked a sense of unease. The potential dangers this new species could pose to the existing ecosystem, or even to humans, has raised eyebrows and quickened heartbeats. However, amid the flurry of reactions, an important conversation has emerged. The discovery has shown a spotlight on the Congo's rich biodiversity and the urgent need for its conservation. The Congo, often referred to as the world's second lung, is home to a myriad of species many of which remain undiscovered, hidden beneath its verdant canopy. This new species serves as a reminder of the vast untapped wilderness that the Congo is and the secrets it holds within. The world has been quick to realize the implications of this discovery. Calls for the preservation of the Congo's biodiversity have grown louder. Environmental activists, conservationists, and even ordinary individuals have rallied behind the cause, urging governments and organizations worldwide to invest in the Congo's protection. The discovery has served as a wake-up call, a stark reminder of the treasures our planet holds and the duty we must protect them. In the end, this terrifying discovery has not only shaken the world, but also awakened it. It has stirred a global dialogue about the importance of biodiversity, conservation, and our role in preserving the planet's natural wonders. This terrifying discovery has indeed shaken the world, but it also calls for action. This terrifying discovery is more than just a new species, it's a wake-up call. This statement rings heavy with truth as we delve into the implications of our recent findings in the heart of Africa, the Congo. The discovery of this new species is not just a thrilling testament to the biodiversity of our planet, but it also paints a picture of the unknown, the undiscovered that still lurks in the shadows of our world. It's a stark reminder that there's still so much we don't know about our own home, Earth. So what does this mean for the Congo? Well, it's a double-edged sword. On one side the discovery brings the Congo into the global spotlight, emphasizing its rich and diverse ecosystem. It could potentially boost ecotourism, leading to an economic upswing. However, on the other hand, it also highlights the challenges the region faces in terms of conservation and habitat protection. 
the delicate balance of the Congo's ecosystem, now housing another species, becomes even more critical to maintain. As we zoom out and look at the global perspective, the implications become even more profound. The world is continually grappling with environmental issues, and this discovery is a stark reminder of the biodiversity that's at risk. It underscores the urgency of global cooperation in conservation efforts, and the need to protect these precious habitats. And what about the future of biodiversity? The discovery of this new species is a beacon of hope. It reaffirms that nature in its resilience continues to surprise us. It also serves as a poignant reminder of our duty to ensure these surprises continue to be pleasant ones. We have an obligation to future generations to preserve and protect biodiversity, to ensure they too can marvel at the wonders of our world. As we stand on the brink of a new year, this discovery reminds us of the mysteries that still exist in our world, and the responsibility we must protect them.